If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mind. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raise up. Good morning, V Chain Army. It's your boy Boomin coming at you with yet another video, guys. Go ahead, do all the things that the algorithm likes. I got my coffee, lot and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started. So we're talking about V Chain today. We got some more earn and learn to earn, where to earn. A lot of cool stuff here. Let's take a look, guys. So Vivo and in Persona, where to earn in Persona. A Web3 metaverse platform that incentivizes healthy lifestyles is joining Vivo Smart Chain to build the world's first decentralized digital health platform. So this is pretty cool, guys. Uh, a metaverse platform that incentivizes positive behavior and lifestyle behavior. The future of digital health. Own your health data. And personal is developed by Vivo Smart Chain. Building our community helps create the first digital health platform. You can finally own your wearable data. So this is pretty cool guys now this here let's let's just take a look so vivo smart chain recently launched a purpose chain that aims to promote positive health style li lifestyle habits through data monetization health data monetization vivo leverages propriety smartwatch technologies to generate user data roughly about 45 terabytes to date and is in the process of building a bespoke platform for health information trading monetization According to recent statistics, global ownership of smartwatches is estimated to be at one at 216 million with additional 1.1 billion IoT devices generating health data daily. This burgeoning industry provides an opportunity for Vivo to disrupt fast growing industry. Now, what this seems like to me is that it collects your data and it pays you for it. Now, what these what Vivo does with your data, that is something that I don't know. Um, typically, when you wear smart watches and you and they collect biometric data, they can sell that data to the highest bidder, and they do sell that data to the highest bidder. But if you can, get, if you're able to get a cut of that, that's definitely good. Now, you guys got to be careful because they do take your data, and if they sell it to advertisers, like I was saying a couple days ago, you know. Google knows can predict when you're going to get sick before you get sick. Google can predict if, you know, your girlfriend's pregnant before they know they're pregnant. They can even predict, they can even tell if you're drunk or not. And they use that data, they use that biometric data in order to sell you things, in order to provide you with advertisements. So this could definitely be interesting. This this could definitely be interesting if you could earn money while um you know providing data and getting real-time health data so that's pretty cool here's a website guys um let's actually take a look at the video here in persona the first web 3 app that uses your heartbeat to mine crypto built on vivo smart chain in persona's community powers the first decentralized digital health platform and is shaping the future of digital health where people own, control, and decide how to monetize their anonymized data. A fun and motivating experience where you become a crypto mining machine. Proof of Sensing Technology uses your heartbeat and other health metrics to mine VivoCoin or VSC. Join in Persona, a community of over 500,000 people worldwide reaching for their health goals through NFTs, SocialFi, and HealthFi rewards. In Persona's revolutionary revenue sharing rewards program is as simple as wearing, sharing, earning. All you have to do is download the app, mint a data NFT, choose your device, and share your invitation codes. You earn from two categories of rewards, HealthFi and SocialFi rewards. HealthFi rewards come in VSC. You earn them by passively monitoring your health with a wearable device connected to a data NFT. You're essentially becoming a crypto mining machine. The data NFT sets the parameters of data collection for your device. Your NFT level determines the amount of data you can collect. The more data you collect, the more rewards you receive. There are two ways to earn social fi rewards, personal rewards and community rewards. 
personal rewards come from your data and from the people you have invited. When your invitees mint data NFTs you receive USDV, also known as Vivo Dollar, and from their data mining you earn VSC. Community-based rewards follow the same logic. As the community develops around each of your activated invitation codes, the people invited by the people you invited, the NFTs, they mint grant you USDV, and from the data they mine you get VSC. As a multi-blockchain US dollar stablecoin, the price of USDV is always pegged to one US dollar, and the price of VSC is determined by the market. Within the InPersona app, you can swap VSC for USDV and then use a Vivo Pay strap or card to spend it on goods and services. VSC can also be bridged to BSC or Polygon networks for further swap to other cryptocurrencies. USDV can also be used to purchase products and services like NFTs. The future of digital health. You own your health data and its value, embracing the impact of wearable technology and using it to create healthier lifestyles. Mon so what do you guys think about that? That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, you know, getting paid to live, <laughs> I guess. So you make your data NFT. Um, you can select the free device, monitor your health and mine crypto just by wearing the device. Obviously, that data that they take, I'm, I'm sure they sell it. I'm sure they sell it. They collect it, they sell it, and then you get a little bit of portion of that which is pretty cool because right now they just take your data and don't give you anything for it. So, you know, it's a win-win. So let me let me know, guys, what you think. Uh, it's been integrated into VeChain, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and move on. All right, real quick, guys. So we got Eisenreich here, established in London. V Tunsberg is a business partner to VeChain Technology Group. They offer blockchain, NFC, RFID products that are compatible with with and empowered by VeChain Toolchain software. So this is pretty cool. Established in London. NFC and RFID products. Uh so yeah, pretty cool. Nothing really to nothing really to shake a stick at here. Uh hopefully they come out with some cool stuff soon and uh we can talk more about that later. So we got World of E here. Pretty cool. So they have partnered with Mint Watch. Mint Watch is transforming the luxury watch resale market through the use of blockchain and tokenization. Um, Mint Watch is uh, uh, our effort is will focus on supplying a complete technical framework for these groundwork initiatives. As part of our collaboration, we introduce you to our proprietary digital passport system to authenticate assets, ensure authenticity authenticity and reliability this innovative approach is designed to greatly enhance the value of security of watches in a specific market so as we can see here our rolex here is being tokenized on the vchain thor blockchain this is pretty cool guys mint watch will be leveraging our customized business dashboard designed to streamline the tokenization process and tailor to ensure effortless experience the aim is to make the process of tokenization as seamless as possible for everyone and as we know, guys, that some watches, not all, but some watches do increase in value over time. I think like Rolex watches, I think Paddock watches, um, some watches as they get older do raise in value. So, you know, I'm not really a big watch guy, but some of you guys might be. And now they've integrated into VeChain, which is pretty cool. They're going to be watching us. They're going to be launching a security token offering. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be um, available to us Americans because, you know, the SEC be hating. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. What do you guys think? What do you guys think down below? Let me know. Pretty cool. So, uh, they're trying to get money, angel investors. Security token offering, internal marketplace, second STO scale up. Looks like, uh, you know, they're not out yet, but um, I will keep you guys up to date as I hear more about this. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Nothing too crazy going on on the VeChain Thor blockchain today. 85 days left to the next Bitcoin block having and taking a look at the markets here. Crypto is down, which is good because I need to buy more crypto. 
All right, we had a little pre little mini run there. And you know how crypto is, it goes down and then it goes up and then it goes down and then it goes sideways for a really long time and then it goes down and then it goes up. So we're we're right in line with the having guys. I'm not freaking out. I'm actually pretty excited. There's still so much I need to buy. There's so much I need to do to get prepared for this bull run. So thank you for the prices coming down just a little bit. Um, still a couple coins that I still need to purchase. But, you know, fiat. <laughs> fiat liquidity issues. So it is what it is, guys. Uh, yeah, nothing really too crazy here. Just, just coins are down. Just Bitcoin's down. Bitcoin is down below 30K. 39k so i'm sure people are freaking out i'm not i needed this <laughs> because it was going up way too fast it was going up way too fast i could not keep up with it so we're gonna be picking up some coins on the low i'm super excited i love you guys i'll talk to you soon with the cardano updates have an amazing day goodbye